cure this bullshit with this elf sneezy dickhead running his mouth on my damn page because I made his feasty hurts by making a comment on Twitter. I'm elf sneezy and I'm gonna cry and shit myself because somebody made a comment on a Twitter post that I didn't like. <laughs> I'm gonna cry and pretend to be a tip guy. I'm gonna see a picture of a tip guy. When I'm a damn pussy name, I'll sneak. Shut the hell up, bitch. I'm over here bitching and moaning like I was supposed to give a damn. You didn't even fucking come at the damn comment. Why don't you come at the comment on the page? Why don't you tag it on my page? Come over to my goddamn YouTube page for shit that has none of your people. You wanna call me a freak? Bitch! You the dumbass with a fake ass picture and a fucking wannabe cool fucking bullshit. Outdated, outboarded, and out of my damn way, motherfucker, cause I don't give a damn what you think. Sunshine! Newsflash for you, cupcake. Not everything has to be dark any dark. We don't need 15,000. I am the terror of the night. I am darkness. I am vengeance. I am Batman. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, shut the fuck up. The whole thought that Superman has to be regeneralized, revitalized, changed up to fit as a villain or whatever darkity dark bullshit dumbasses like you need is itself asinine. It is the stupidest goddamn misconception. He was given these values by his parents. This is a value system that people can utilize to get through shit. Yeah, we need dark characters from time to time. We need our Batmans. We need our fucking Punishers and whatever the fuck else. Because I damn sure ain't going to sit here and pretend like I'm the thing that we need. The Supergirl thing we need. The thing is, bitch. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with someone standing there square-jawed <laughs> holding up the American fucking flag <laughs> and saying, I'm going to defend my values. I'm going to defend my truth. I'm going to realize that if you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. So if that's your fucking problem with me saying that I don't like BVS because it is B fucking S. Tough fucking shit, little boy, bitch, blue, and he has the balls to have a fucking face. You made zero fucking videos. I can pretty much guess who you really are, so fuck you, double. <laughs> you wanna come at me, son? Ho, 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 ho. You better find daddy to fucking hold your hand, bitch. Miss Liz about to step on your punk ass. Not physically, verbally. I'm gonna mentally assault your tiny ass fucking brain. Let me explain something to you, son. If Superman is such a failed concept, then why did Marvel make money off of it, retitling it as fucking Captain America? Yes, that is always Cap's personality. I will not deny that. I'm just saying that that movie made buku bucks. They kept pushing the first three general thing, meaning the leader, because him and Tony were the standouts. Deal with it. Place of birth being the only fucking difference between those characters and circumstances and whatnot. But they still fall in that general Boy Scout thing. So if you're sitting here trying to tell me the Boy Scout mentality doesn't work, if you're sitting here telling me that raising the flag and standing arms akimbo <laughs> up against everything in the world doesn't work anymore and that world would not get behind you, well, they, they would after a while. Because they fucking did. The real fucking world paid their fucking money to sit in those damn fucking seats for two and a half hours to watch every goddamn Captain America movie they can. And if Superman was made by somebody who gave a fuck about Superman, then he'd be making just as much. There's a reason people still sit and watch those Christopher Reeves movies. It ain't nostalgia, bitch. It's realization that somehow we need to have some sort of thing to stand beside. Something to believe in other than our inner assholeness, you dumb shit. Yeah, we need the dark hero. We need certain people to do shit that nobody wants to do or say. But you know what else we need, dumbass? We need something to believe in other than goddamn fucking rage, fire, and hellboy bullshit. Not that I have anything problem with Hellboy and the likes. <laughs> but you can sit here with your I'm cool and everybody bullshit. Your fucking wannabe hat. Your goddamn 
hoodie bullshit that you bought at Hot Topic and try to look cool, but you really look like a reject for the fucking insane, so fuck you. He can stand there, square jar. He can stand there in that suit. He can stand there raising the American fucking flag, the British flag, the Canadian flag, whatever goddamn fucking flag he wants to. Because he's pushing his ideals. He's pushing ideals that can help make a person, whether you like it or not. And thinking that you need to be dark and dark, bitchy bitch, and oh, it's a great thing to make Flopper Man dark and shit. Fuck you. You, you can have that thought. You're fine to that thought. But coming at me yelling, freak, bitch, you don't know. Don't waste my time, little boy, with, with your shaggy beard wannabe shit. I can't even really call it shaggy because you just threw on somebody else's face. You have to put up another person's face to make a little point. And the only point you have is the one on the top of your fucking head. With your shitty... <laughs> wannabe look through somebody else's picture of because I think I recognize that face and I damn sure know it ain't your bitch. Interesting you may put up one video. Interesting you want to come bitch at me because I didn't like your fucking movie. In fact, here's the thing. I have nothing against snacks. Snack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Hell, I love 300. Every so once in a while I'll catch myself singing first we'll take Manhattan and then we'll take Berlin. Go ahead. Come on. Sing the rest of the song. First, we'll take Manhattan, and then we'll take Berlin. Obviously, you saw that fucking movie since you're such a big Snyder fan that you want to come bitch at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. When did that happen in fucking watch me? Give me the exact time. Because, yes, I liked watch me just fine. Because that was a movie that has its place. But that's not the only type of movie you can put out there. Loser Sneed. I hate having to call you Sneed because I know people with the last name Sneed legitimately have that fucking name, you piece of shit. And he probably wouldn't be too happy having some dipshit, asinine little fucking five-year-old in a grown man's fucking body taking that fucking name, you pile of crap. I'm sorry your parents didn't know how to use a fucking condom or fucking your daddy didn't know how to pull out before bringing the biggest mistake in the world. You're dumbass in existence. Newsflash, sunshine. If you have nothing to stand for, if you have nothing to believe in, then what is the goddamn point of you? Darky Dark Hills, yeah, they're nice. They're great. They're believable. Yeah, okay. Millionaire fucking playboy running around shooting everybody. Sure, sure. I mean, dude, throwing batteries and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would work in reality. Dumbass. Not that I have anything against Batman. Or Ben Affleck as Batman, because I thought that would have been great if he had been able to do the thing, but they stopped that. 